Well, my name is Cuban Link. Started as a rapper, known to the world, part of the Terror Squad when we started that. 1994, started in the game with, uh, with my brother Pun. Uh, we came in together, me and him and Joe Sace. Met up Joe, with Joe, who was from the same area. We saying we formed a little, a little triangle there, and, you know, the flavor was good, so we took it to the next level. Pun was the first one to break ground and, and show the world what he had, so you already know what he did to the world, the hip hop. Took it to the next level, and we was right behind him. I mean, I started in, uh, as far as like in the game, I started like 93, 94 with Pun. But besides that, you know, and, uh, I fell in love with hip hop when I was 15. Dude in uh, elementary school, so you know, I was doing my thing. As far as like, besides taking notes, I was just writing rhymes in school. And, you know, being a little too shy to, to, to really recite them. But then, you know, I got it, I got in with the likes of Triple Sage, you know my man, Pun, and then, you know, we used to go to the hallways and just, uh, you know, spit some rhymes. And, you know, that, that kind of broke the, the fear I had, like, you know what I'm saying, for like, spitting my, 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 my lyrics. I started hitting them hard, like I started going in on on my rhymes when when we found out that we had to separate from, from each other as far as we was a crew, we was full of clips. It was me, Say and Pun. And uh, you know, Pun got his, his turn first, because you know he was the one that stood out the most. And Joe, Joe really like, you know what I'm saying, was on Pun like that, and he was gonna give him the shot to take it first. After that, it was like, damn, man, I never been a solo artist, so it was like I had to really go in. I had to, of course, you know. Learn from fun how he was doing it, cause you know he had to, he had to go first. So you know I was like I was setting up the bat. So I was really you know what I'm saying like me and Pun would sit down and just start going in. And you know what I'm saying when he wasn't around me, I had to go in on my own and really started thinking of concepts and, and ideas, how how to create an album, how to how to how to dissect 16 bars instead of just making a hot 16. I gotta make three hot 16s and, and, and you know what I'm saying make that that concept of the song hotter. After that whole you know. Situation when I split from the Terror Squad, it definitely made me change my views as individuals. So that me changing that views as individuals, you know, it did come with a little anger. You know what I'm saying? And, and I put it to my rhymes to a point where, of course, I'm from the street anyway. I always spit that gangster shit regardless. But now when I spit it, it seems like it scares a lot of people away, especially business white collar people, because they they think I'm talking about a certain individual, a certain situation all the time. And it's just basically me being a street nigga from the Bronx doing what I always used to do. It's just like, you know, I mean, I got a little more baggage now because, you know, situations that transpired, but I'm still spitting that hard for, you know, gangster shit from the Bronx. It's just, uh, you know, the, the political side of it changed a lot. So it definitely made me take the, the road of, of, you know, all odds against me. Like, you know what I'm saying? Some more like, my back is against the wall. So it's whoever, whoever you get it, you know what I'm saying? And that's my attitude towards it. That's this position I've been put in. So when I do spit my lyrics, I mean, just understand that it comes from the heart of me, and, and it's definitely a message for me behind everything that I ever do. And uh, you know, I, I'm a musician, and I take, I take, I take music to the heart, and I, I take it, you know, and I give it to the fans how, how, how I want to give it to them, which is, you know, what I'm saying, even if it's anger with it, you know, what I'm saying it's not just anger where it's like, oh, let's just fucking go and shoot up anybody, and it's senseless. You know, what I'm saying it's something that, 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 of course, I went through. It's a situation, it's a point of view that I see, and maybe you can relate to it. my music involved. I live what I, what I spit most of the time, you know. You know, 99% of the time I'm spitting when I'm living. So, sometimes when life do get hard, you know what I'm saying, that break comes in where, you know, it's a hiatus where I'm not even found this shit. I start doing other shit, you know what I'm saying, little phases here and there that, that maybe prevents me from really going 100% at the end and making my album or something like that, it might take me longer than other, than another would. Because it's really like, you know what I'm saying, it's, it's really being independent, it's Cuban Link, you know, it's like, you know, I got in-house uh, family that we do work together, like, you know, AOM is um, entertainment, um, they know they got the studio set up, so I, I got my man 326 that I go over there and lay down my, 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 my lyrics on in their studio. So it's like, you know, I, got, I'm, I write my own worksheet, and it's time for me to work. But I, I do catch the fevers where, you know, so I just want to be in the studio for three months straight and just knock out mad shit. But then, you know what I'm saying, it, it, life hits again and then, you know, it's a little, another another roadblock that comes in. Besides the politics, I'm talking about just regular life. So that's why maybe I take a little long time for my albums to come out. 
And uh, all that shit plays a part, man. You know, you don't got the politics backing you up in the game. You got radio really not playing your music because of other reasons. You know I'm saying? You got me living my life as a human being. You know what I'm saying? As, as a man, you know, uh, still doing my thing. So, you know, all that comes into play where, where that chant, that fair shot for me hasn't come yet. We all got dreams, you know, my dream's still there. The hip-hop dream in my head is still there, you know. Did I get that shot yet? Nah, I was close to it, yeah. Um, was it supposed to be easy road for me? Nah, nah. Did I come from a, a little town in Cuba called Puerto Serrano? That's locked doors, so, you know, that's just my destiny. I gotta, I gotta earn mine the hard way, you know what I'm saying? That, that's already been, already said and done. Like, I already know that's my route. I mean, if you believe in something, I'm more for it. Like, you gotta give it 100%. You know? Especially in the hip-hop game, like, you know, like I'm a Spanish guy. You know, it's so, it's so, it was like so hard to get in this game. You, and you a different genre, you know? different ethnic background. It's just it, you know what I'm saying? Of course, they're welcome. You know, you're always gonna be welcome, because hip-hop is, 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 it don't have no color. But at the end of the day, the majority and, and the dominant, are, you know, are black people. And they, they, they the ones who put it down for the get-go, and they, you know, it's their sport, regardless, you know, all props. To that. But at the end of the day, when you come from the hood and, and you grow up with, you know what I'm saying, black people, like, you know what I'm saying, from, from, the, from, the, from the Bronx, and, you know, you're from a place that, you, you know, hip-hop was created. So, you, you know, that comes in, into, into a place where that's, that gives you an extra energy right there, you know what I'm saying, and, and, and it makes you feel like you fit somewhere. Hip-hop makes you fit, feel like, 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 you know, you fit there, because that's who you are, that's what you breathe, that's how you dress, that's how you talk. So, you know, that's that's just my emotions when it comes to hip hop. That's why I took it to, to actually write rhymes. I used to do my little, you know what I'm saying, break dancing, you know what I'm saying? Never really got into tagging and all that, but just that hip hop culture always involved me. Like, you know what I'm saying? It took me in and and uh, I just let my soul go with it. You gotta grow in your horizons. You really gotta stand up when you speak. You, know, you gotta put yourself in a position where the world's gonna listen to you. So, what would you say to the world? And what kind of message would you give to the world? So when you, when you really say your rhymes, and, uh, and uh, I mean it's hard, especially now. You got I mean you got a million rappers right now. They all want to be rappers. And to tell you the truth, I've been hearing a lot of whack shit on on the radio, man. And, and, and I can say that because I'm a nigga that, like I said, you know, I, I grew up on the Juice Crew and, and the Rugby MC and, and, and the Grand Yeah Yeah you and, and, and Liverpool niggas, Liverpool niggas, the Twisters. You know what I'm saying? I grew up in the era, so I know what lyrics. The liberal content means, you know what I'm saying? And that's that's something that we lost right now. And I just, you know, I need that element, element back in hip hop, you know what I'm saying? And it's hard to find it, of course, because it's not glorified. Like before, before it was, you know, niggas really gave me, they, they shot because they earned it as far as like spitting that, that, that minimum. You know what I'm saying? Now it's just like line dotty songs, and it's like, okay, you know, you get on, you know, you get on. Put on a, a costume and you get it, you make a video, you got a little Captain Hook and a new star. And that's like, you know, it's like, it has no, it's hollow. That's what I can say. Rap is hollow. Like, the, the, the ingredients is not all there. Though. And don't get me wrong, because people that can still do it, it's just, it's not there no more. It's not, it's not heartfelt. It's not, and, uh, I mean, you got a lot of dance motherfuckers out there, though. I love, I love making people dance. You know, that's part of me. I, I like dancing when I go to the club. I just don't want to dance all the time. You know what I'm I think the album should embody more than just dancing. You know, I think, I think it should, an album should describe who a real MC is, who you are, as a, as a writer, as a mama, as a rapper. You know, so it should describe who you are. Or even whatever your mind, perception of what your mind thinks you are. Remember, you can't just, this is hip hop. This is one of the fields of music where, the originality is, is key, where who you are is key, because you will get tested when you hit the street. So you gotta understand really what you wanna do when you step foot in this game. Whatever, I never back down. I hold my ground and pound the body like Muhammad Ali, Bobby. We could lock up in the lobby. I'll be bobbing and weaving, leaving niggas out of breath. Then I think in they chest with my five fingers of death. Yeah, yeah, this your boy Q the Link. South Boogie Down Bronx Monster. CLK Entertainment, chilling with my man, OTO, PS, we the best, you know what it is, man. PS, we the best.com, you know, CLK Entertainment with Cuban Link, you know how we do.
Be up to Boston, nigga. Roxbury all day. Bang, bang, boogie. I'm deadly, niggas are ready, dread me in every scary area Beware with the jaw buried, a big boss to terrier Tearing the ears off of artisans, it's mostly cartilage No bullshit, and you rip them right off, just pull them hard enough Rolling with us, you must be ready for death Hit you with so many rights, you're gonna beg for a left